Clash of the Tungsten is not going to do dark reviews. Ooh, two videos in a row have both been reviews. I know, I know, it's another dark review. My name is Ross and welcome to Clash of the Tungsten. If you've been here before, what are you saying? If this is the first time on the channel, Alright, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss another dart related video. Please don't get used to the idea that this is going to become some sort of darts review channel because that's not the case. There are plenty of other channels that do a hell of a better job than I do at this sort of thing, but I've been meaning to do a review on these darts since I bought them over a month ago. Anyway, these are another set from Loxley. The darts that we're going to be reviewing today are the Robins, based after Mr. Robin Hood himself from the Sherwood Forest in Nottingham. I think it's a Sherwood Forest. If it's wrong, I'm not going to re-edit it, so whatever. The name comes from the shape of the dart themselves being shaped like an arrow. It's a very unique design and I really can't wait to show you what they look like. These are a 90% tungsten barrel and they come in three different weights. They come in 21, 23 and 25 gram variants. Due to their extremely unique design, these things sold out quickly. So good luck getting a set. Joking aside, these are currently on a pre-order from the Loxley Darts website. So if you like the look of the darts, then I'd suggest putting your name to a set on a pre-order because I reckon they're gonna sell out again and again and again. Loxley have in no way paid me to make this video. I purchased these darts out of my own money. All the opinions that you hear in this video are of mine and are not influenced by Loxley in any way whatsoever. Let's get to it. So the darts are packaged in a hinged clamshell style box, which is exactly the same as the beanies that I've reviewed before. If I'm honest, the packaging isn't something I'm really interested in. As on any set of darts, they all do the exact same job of protecting the dart whilst they're not in use or whilst they're in transit. It's what's on the inside that counts after all. God, that sounded cringy as fuck. Loxley have placed a nice photo of a forest on a display card, which again ties in with the Robin Hood theme that they're going for. Loxley branded on the bottom there, and the model name Robin placed in bold above the photo. 90% tungsten on the bottom right hand corner, and the weight on top. Right, let's get these bad boys out. So the first impressions I have when looking at these darts is that they are very unique to any other dart that I've ever seen before. As I mentioned before, these darts are 21 gram, but these do come in 23 and 25 gram variants. The length of the darts are 55 millimeters, so they are a fairly longish barrel. The width at the widest point is 7.5 millimeters on the 21 grams, but this does go up in increments of 0.3 of a millimeter depending on the weight that you go for. They have based the design on a crazy arrow shaped nose, which starts thin and tapers up to its widest point. It then tapers back down to a straight section. This is like no other set I've ever seen before. I'd probably describe the taper as a sort of divot rather than a scallop, as the change in width is more instantaneous. The grip is obviously smooth, but I wouldn't necessarily say that because of this they won't be grippy. Some smooth darts I find do somehow grip really well. I do have a set of smooth darts and I did get on really well with them, so I'll be interested to see how these feel in my hand while throwing them. Provided with the barrels is a set of medium Loxley stems with their logo printed on them and a set of these feather-like flights, again, staying with the Robin Hood theme. So anyway, let's get these bad boys out and have a chuck. Right, so first impressions of the darts before I've even thrown them is I can't believe how they feel in my hand. Like, I've never picked up a set of darts that feel anything like this before. I mean, the Whitlocks and the beanies that I recently reviewed, they do have like a scallop on the dart but these these just feel completely different to anything i have ever used before so i'm pretty excited to give these a fry so let's get to it so they fly nice and straight to to start they they feel like they go well um they're quite quick to the board i think that could be due to the weight obviously being 21 grams they are two grams lighter than what i would usually use because i usually use 23 grams after the first throw they jet to the board they really do i'd be interested to see even with shorter stems how quick they do fly to the board i don't know if it's because of the aerodynamics of how the darts designed but i, I can't believe how quick they fly They enter the board at a really, really nice angle. 
Um, again, that could be due to the length of stem. That, that could be why they're entering how they are. But they stand, they're not straight and they're not upright. They're sort of dead in the middle where I like them. The grip being smooth, I did mention that sometimes smooth darts can be quite grippy. These, I can almost feel them slipping in my fingers, but that's not necessarily, again, the darts fault. That could be just, you know, the oil on my fingers or just just how I'm holding them, you know? For someone else, it, it, they might be better and more grippy. What I will say about these darts is I'm glad that that divot's there. If they were tapered from, you know, the size of the arrowhead upwards all the way along, I really think I struggle with grip. The divot does allow you to keep your thumb, especially with my grip, it allows you to keep your thumb on the dart in the same place every time, which is helpful. If that wasn't there, I really would struggle, I think, keeping, keeping hold of the dart because they are really smooth. Really good set of darts. I'm so glad I bought them because they are, I wouldn't say they're a novelty, that's that's a bit of a negative way of describing these darts, but they are unique. The shape of them just makes them fly so fast to the board. Like I said, I don't know whether it is the weight because I'm used to throwing a heavier dart, but these just seem like they zip. Like I said, I'd be really interested to see how they'd fly with a shorter stem and maybe even a kite shaped fly, I, I think they will, <laughs> they'll leave around and then they'll be at the board. Because there's no like grip at all, there's nothing that sort of interferes with your grip. So it's pretty consistent how you can hold the darts and the release is really easy to time well because there's no grip to interfere. So that is a big positive about these darts. So a quick summary then. These are the Loxley Robins in 21 gram. They come in three different weights, the 21 gram, 23 and 25 gram. They have what I would call a divot in the center of the dart for grip. The 21 gram are 7.5 millimeter at the widest point. That's where the divot sort of begins. They're a completely smooth barrel dart. They are 55 millimeters in length, so they're quite a long dart. I quite like them. I'm really glad that I bought them, but I don't think I'll use them all the time. So the price on these darts are relatively cheap at £33.95, especially a dart as unique as this is. The darts can be pre-ordered from the lads at Loxley, but unfortunately they can't be purchased currently because they are completely out of stock. As I mentioned before, these darts sold out very quickly, so if you do want a set, I'd suggest going over to the Loxley Darts website and getting yourself a set on pre-order. So final thoughts then, great dart, the workmanship on them are really, really good. Great quality as always from the lads at Loxley, and I'm really excited to see what else comes out in the future. So personally, my throw style doesn't really suit this set of darts. That's not the darts fault of their own, it's just how I throw. I don't feel comfortable with them particularly. Maybe a change in setup, like flight or stems they might make me change my opinion but i can't really see it making much of a difference if i'm honest if after a bit of a change i can't get on with them i will put them on a darts raffle card on my twitter page and use the funds that are raised from that to purchase a game from Loxley, another set that sort of suits my throw style a little better. Please be sure to hit the Loxley boys up on Twitter and all their socials. I'll leave their info in the description on this video. And guys, please keep in mind that Loxley are a small independent family run business and they require the support of all of us in the dark community to keep going through these difficult times. I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.